Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Guess where I am? I'm at the thrift. If you don't know who I am, I'm Ashley, shop owner of Decade Alchemy. I specialize in true vintage from Victorian all the way to the early 2000s. It's not really vintage, but we're touching in that tour territory as well. Just for the namesake, I like a lot of decades and I like to mix them all together. So I'm at the thrift store here today. Also a self-proclaimed thrift addict, yes indeed. And um, I'm at American Thrift. It's Wednesday, that means it's Senior Citizen Day. So this does nothing for me in the way of sales, but it does a lot for me in the way of how heavily stocked this store is. So per usual, Prime Directive is just find cool shit for both keeps and for resale. If you like anything I share with you here in the video, check out my Depop shop, it may be for sale. You can write me over on my Instagram at Decade Alchemy as well. If you wanna see any of my outfits today, we're calling this outfit um, Confused. We're calling it confused and in a rush to get here because I actually think they opened at 9.30 today and not 10 o'clock. It is 9.56. Oh, and also the Prime Directive. This is really like the challenge, if you will. Um, I'm gonna give myself about an hour. I would like to be home by 12, so it's 10 now. I wanna be home. It's gonna take me like 15, 20 minutes to get home. There might be a cold brew involved. I'm gonna factor that in. And there's also a good will up the road. I think I'm gonna stop there too. So before we jump in, just a couple things that I would like to manifest. Um, pink cowboy boots, gaudy gold jewelry, souvenir ashtrays. Good, good vintage for both me and for you. So uh, let's fucking do this thing. I'm like, I got ants in my pants. I wanna get in already. I should also say, if you're in the South Florida area, I'm gonna be popping up in Miami on February 28th, so a lot of this trip too. I'm looking for smalls, easy, pretty, a little bit more trendy decorative stuff that I could sell at a really reasonable price point, just to kind of turn and burn, have things at a variety of price points, so that's important to me as well, so I'm looking. <laughs> Well, me, this is Precious Pearl. He says we last only at 12 today. Only at 12. <sighs> Another day with no boots. It doesn't look like they refilled anything, which I'm so sad. The purses are really dry too, but let's go to the smalls and maybe we'll have some more luck there. trying to phase out the sweaters because we are, oh my god. Is that driving you guys crazy with driving me? There we go. Um, we're getting into spring, so it's gonna be warmer. It's already warm here, but for everywhere, so. <sighs> Let's look through the sweaters together. but it does have the real fur trim, which is nice. So I think I'm gonna snag this. And uh, I haven't found too much since I've seen you last. So I'm just gonna keep on pushing. It's so busy in here, and the intercom's going insane, so forgive my lack of talking. So 
I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna run through these last two aisles and then we will do the deciding process together and get this show on the road because the line's gonna take forever. So I've got sweaters, knit tops, lingerie. I'm gonna, I usually don't find anything in those aisles, but I'm gonna quick stop at jewelry, which is on the way to the cash wrap. And if I am not out of this place, by 12.10, I mean by 11.10, I'm in trouble, okay? Thank you, no real hiding spots, so I'm gonna try to, because I might get interrupted. So, a couple pieces that I found off camera. Found this basic little black tee. Need more basics, don't have them. This is a keeper, it's 3.99. That's a lot for what it is, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Found this, really cute, made in Korea, so it's got a little age to it, express piece. Sheer with the big rose and that. Can't go wrong. Also $3.99, gonna grab that. I also found this really beautiful butterfly pattern made in India robe. I thought it might actually be layered on top of something rather than a bed kind of piece. This is $3.99 as well, I'm gonna grab that. Something that I grabbed just to share with you how cyclical fashion is. This is a true 90s top, and it looks like we can get it for every one. So why would you get some crappy made thing when this has been around for like 30 years already? You well, a little bit less than that, but like 30 years, let's call it. And is exactly what's in style now. Good quality, beautiful, has an age today. Um, the two camisoles that I found, I love this one. I gotta get this 80s one. I'm in love with it. That one is $2.99. And I also found this 100% silk. It's tartan and floral. It's really pretty. This one's also $2.99 um, by Victoria's Secret, actually. Um, I'm on the fence with this one because I like it, but I'm not in love with it, so I'm going to put it on the side. These are the shorts that I shared with you guys. They're only $3.99. I'm not going to try them on. I'm eyeballing it, and they look good, so I'm rolling. I'm going with it. Finally, the Express Corduroy Jacket. I think this is a lot of fun. It's $5.99. Outerwear, I think I'm gonna take a chance on that. I think I'm gonna put it over here. And this is the Juicy Milker hoodie. I think I'm gonna take this one too, only because of her trend. Got a little awkward because people walked by. Some things I'm leaving behind. I'm gonna leave this behind. This was fun because the eyes move and sometimes um, these vintage like novelty dishes do well on eBay, but I am just gonna say no because probably you're not gonna do that well. And I have a pile of things to put on eBay that I haven't put on yet, so I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna put the green bag away too, it's very cute, but no. For sure, Keeper is the gator. I'm in love with it. I'm gonna figure out something cool to do with him, little vintage guy. Definitely gonna take him. I want the heart garland in here so bad, but I also don't want all the other shit. So I think I'm just gonna take a chance at Michael's and see what they got. I'm gonna quickly search this name here on the bottom of this brass piece, and that will determine whether or not I'm gonna take it. And then I got some belts, but I'm gonna save those for later. So I will see you guys in Goodwill. It's a little late. It was a little late, but I am at Goodwill now and it's 12.30, so this is going to be a marathon round, but, 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 this Goodwill changed things around, so I find, sorry, my lighting got bad, um, I find that it's actually quite easy to power through this one, so I think I can do it, and the line's never very long here, so I love that about it as well. Um, so I'm running in, I'm shutting my mouth, and let's get this beautiful light. Um, anyway, the plan here is a little bit different. The plan here is go to Smalls first and kind of look at the shoes. I've only ever found one pair of shoes here and then go to the clothes like it's like my life depends on it, okay? So we're in the Smalls now. They have put so much more stuff out so I'm excited. This isn't vintage but isn't it fun? I have one that's red. It says margaritas on it and it's a hit. This is just a note to sell for coloring. You know what I mean? Look at that color combo, it's so good. Holy mother fucking shit, is all I have to say. How 
how is she standing to listen to the currency? I couldn't do it, y'all. I couldn't do it. But what I can do is look through these dresses. And I intend to, but I'm gonna finish the pants real quick because that's like what I actually need and can justify. Everything else is just a bonus, you know what I mean? This is cute with the little buckle, a line, black skirt. I wish it was gold, but it's kind of cute. I don't think it would fit, but is that a nature of length? Maybe, it might be. Oof, if that's not the most golden girls thing you've ever seen in your whole life. All right, so classic Ash. My camera's gonna die, so I'm just gonna sign off here. I'm not getting good vibes. I may leave empty handed. I may take that black skirt. I'm gonna run through the tops and everything like that, and everything that I get, you will see in the try on portion of this video, so I'm sorry. I didn't bring a battery again, because this is supposed to be quick, but here I am, so see you in a few. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am back. I'm back, back, back in the house, and I'm going to share with you all the things I picked up today. So I hope you enjoyed coming with me. I had a really good time filming today. I had a lot of good luck at the thrift store. More luck than I thought I was going to have. So I'm really excited to share my finds with you. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start with the smalls and then we'll jump into clothes and finish off with some accessories. Yeah. One thing that I got that I am in love with is this guy right here, my little gator friend. And I don't know if he holds, I, it's definitely not paper towels. It's gotta be wine, cause he's got like arms that wrap around here. When I show you him in the cutaway, I've got a bottle of wine. I'm gonna try to slip it there, but it's just really cool. It just seems some sort of like Florida souvenir-y thing. I'm totally unsure of its age, but I do know that it is absolutely incredible. I love alligators. I love Florida things as I should as a Florida girl. And, um, this was just a really good find, $3.99 on that one. Lots and lots of fun. Then I had mentioned that I'm gonna do some research on this guy right here because I picked it up. It's a brass bird, it's got turquoise eyes, and I just thought it had a really amazing look to it. And turns out I was right. This is a little mid-century bird, sells for quite a pretty penny. I do believe I'm gonna sell this one because mid-century stuff. I love mid-century clothing, but the mid-century style is not my favorite. Um, I like to mix it here and there, but I do think someone would enjoy this a lot more than myself. So I'm going to clean her up and she will be for sale. She is absolutely beautiful. I'm really excited about this one. It does have some wear, so I don't know how much it's going to affect its value, but I do think I can clean this up quite a bit and it is still a absolutely gorgeous little piece. It's the eyes for me. I am in love with it. Then one little bag that I grabbed on my way out and I just thought it was so cool. It's a tapestry bag. I'm always attracted to these, but this one is, uh, it says jazz and it's all of the French quarters in New Orleans. So I think I might actually keep this one. I wish it was long enough for me to wear underneath my arm here. It is not, but I do still think it's so cool and it is actually quite spacious so i don't know if someone picked this up while actually being in new orleans i don't know if this is homemade i don't know what the deal is with this one but i do know that i love it and for a buck 99 she was coming home with mama now let's just jump right into the clothes and then i've got three very exciting belts to share with you so first up is from express this one i'm definitely going to sell but i will model it for you so you can get a little bit of a feel for how it looks it's this really cool second skin so like very tight fitting mesh v-neck it's made in korea so that makes me think that this is a little bit um of an older express piece even if it's not i do still think it's very cool it looks like all of the rhinestones on the rows here are in place somehow which is very very exciting so this would just look great with some black high-waisted pants a big old belt you mean i i talk about how to style things all the same way what can i say I am a creature of habit. It's even got some sequins down here. I like anything that could be simple, but it's got a lot of pizzazz because more is more, and you all know that. Next up, um, I've really been into butterflies lately. I'm kind of really into Anna Sui. I'm into, what is the designer's name? 
I'm gonna pop the name up here because I've got a million tabs open. I don't know why it's escaping me and I'd probably do it an injustice in pronunciation regardless. But the bottom line is that I'm really into butterflies. And when I saw this, I was like, this is beautiful. This is in the lingerie section. It is by a brand called Nap Time. So it is indeed meant to be worn that way, but I think I can actually style this in a way to make it very, very wearable for every day. Because to me, it actually looks like a 1920s sort of kimono. And those are things that I would wear um, as actual clothes. So though it may be a lounge piece, I am going to transform her. And I think the pastel colorways and butterfly motif on this guy is gonna be absolutely perfect for spring. Appears to be in pretty nice condition as well. Um, this is actually 100% cotton and made in India. That's the reason why I picked that up. Whenever I'm in the sleepwear section, I'm looking for natural fibers like cottons and silks because those are my favorite thing to wear. If it's nylon, if it's polyester, I basically want nothing to do with it. Um, speaking of nylon and polyester, what is this one made out of? This one may be made of those things, but it is a really good one and it's lace, so it's significantly less offensive to me. This is by Cinema and Exile, Exoil, Zoil, Zoil, Zoil. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't tell you, but it is really stinking cute. It is a total 80s piece and what sold me on this guy is the little rosette with the pearls. That is hands down my favorite piece, but I think these are really great for layering. I think even if you wanna wear it as a lingerie piece, that could be really beautiful as well. But I do like the dual function of an item like this. And this one is a nice cream color. It's not a stark, stark white. I do prefer that. And I might give that one a whirl. Probably gonna be too big in the bust region as always. It's got a really cute lettuce hem on it though as well. So if it's not for me, it will be for you. And that is the beauty. Now these I'm excited to try on because I still have not tried them on, but we will try them on together in the cutaway portion. From what I can tell, they are going to fit nice. I hope they're not too up my crotch, not my b-hole, and then we're good to go. So these are from Urban Outfitters originally. They are from Kimchi Blue, and um, I'm okay with buying Urban Outfitters and things like that because I do like some of the things that they make, provided that it is secondhand, and provided that it is a lovely, $3.99, that is what we're talking about. So they are a um, very soft velvet material, which I like. They have a really sort of muddled, very cool watercolory abstract sort of floral pattern. And I can see myself wearing these all summer long with cowboy boots as one does. Moving right along, this one's definitely for sale. It's not my style, it's just such a good one. It is a true um, Y2K, more vintage, more of the well-made Juicy Couture pieces. It's made in the US of A. It does have a real full fur trim on the hood here. We've got the gold embossing right there on the left, as well as a big old back hit. Also in sparkly, sparkly gold. So I know a lot of you all like this more leisure wear. Um, it's not my personal style, like I said, but someone is just going to absolutely flip over this. And I am always very excited to pick it up. And finally, at least in the way of clothing, this is one that I'm really quite excited about. I think it's just a really good classic piece. And this is a more vintage, the limited piece. I believe it's from the 90s. And it is a brown corduroy jacket. We've got a really light shoulder pad here. We've got a nice collar. Um, the sleeves roll up. We've got little pocket detailing. It's just a simple staple wardrobe piece that is well made by a good brand. And that is always what I'm looking for. As much as I love statement pieces, and that's definitely the focus of what I do, um, I love to add a little bit of pieces in here in the mix, because if you have a collection of all statement pieces, it becomes really hard to actually make outfits. So you need a couple pieces like this in the mix. And like I said, I could see this actually looking really beautiful with those Urban Outfitter shorts that I picked up. Um, so let's finish this off with some belts that I got. I did find three I was really excited about. Um, I even, put some away. I got a little overexcited. This one is a sick vintage belt. It's got, uh, it's genuine leather. It's got this little car on it and car detailing all the way around. I actually don't think that this one is going to fit me, unfortunately, but I think someone is going to love it. Do we have any markings here? Just streets, a legion, car, mamas. I wonder where 
this is supposed to take place, but I like that there is like some watercolors on here as well. Very light coloring on this beautiful, smooth, warm tone brown. It's just a cool novelty belt. And like I said, I like these sort of special pieces because you can wear a plain white t-shirt and jeans and throw on something like this and it makes it a hell of a lot more interesting. I love that. Now the Lord knows I cannot avoid a good chain belt and I love when chain belts weigh a ton. And this one says NY on it, so I don't know if it's Donna Karen. I don't know exactly what that means. That's the only sort of symbol that I see on it. Wait, wait, I do see something. I just, it's genuine leather made in Taiwan. It's vintage. From who? I mean, when I list this item, oh, I might, this might be a keeper. This is going to be a tough one not to. It is a double layered brown leather and gold chain belt. So we've got this layer here in the center where, where it sits at your waist. It actually got a little double layered effect just for a little bit more interest. I love when they do that. It's super heavy. It's completely adjustable, would fit so many sizes and it weighs a ton. It's just so beautifully made. I did pay up for this one at $5.99, but I knew it would absolutely be worth it, especially because it is a genuine leather piece. Um, the final piece that I found, another fun chain belt, and I kind of went back and forth on this one, but the more I looked at it, the more I was like, it really is so beautiful. And the more you sort of handle chain belts, you really do realize that they are absolutely not all created equal. Some are really flimsy and lightweight and just sort of off-putting to me, but this one's got a really beautiful weight to it, and it's got these almost pyramid-like studs that are black and then this really pretty mirrored silver. Again, completely adjustable. That's always why I like to pick up chain belts. They fit a variety of different sizes. It's got a little lobster clasp here and you can attach it to anywhere on this belt that you like. Obviously, it's probably intended to hang right here, but I often think that if you clip it anywhere, that doesn't deter from how gorgeous it looks. So this one has no name on it, but it's in great shape. Silver black in that mirrored color, which I think is beautiful. And this one was for 99. All right, everyone, that is it. This is my haul for today. I didn't end up picking up that black skirt from the Goodwill and why um, my last sort of perusal around the store, I didn't find anything and that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you make out like a bandit like I did here today. I am over the moon with this haul. I think I got a little bit of everything and those are my favorites. My grand total today with tax and all was $53.48. I would say that is pretty damn good. Um, if you're interested in any of these items, please do not hesitate to shoot me a message. Um, I am sort of transferring everything over to my page on Decade Alchemy. I would love to create a little community there that is tight niche and engaging and I really just want to get back into the community aspect of creating content both here and on Instagram, so check me out. Um, Decade Alchemy once again. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was, if nothing else, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye! Oh, no.